Divide using long division. 312 divided by 12. Okay, so we're going to set up our long division box. Our dividend goes inside, our divisor goes on the outside. So this one is a little bit different from the other ones we've been doing. This one has a two-digit divisor there. Usually we've been just doing one-digit divisors. All right, and then, the, and then the divisor gets divided into the dividend with little steps. So what, how does that change? What do we do differently when we have a two-digit divisor? It's actually pretty similar. We're going to do pretty similar steps. Just maybe some of our little steps of division might be a little bit harder. But so what we're going to for first, we're actually going to follow our four steps, just like we do our four steps of long division. And where do we start? We start at the biggest place value, right? The three. Well, 12 is bigger than three, so we're actually going to look at the first two place values. 31. So our, two, so our first step of division would be 31 divided by 12. Or how many 12s fit in 31? Okay, so let's look at some of our 12 times tables. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, so that's 36 2 is too big. So let's do 12 times 2, right? So we put a 2 there. 12 times 2 is 24. Okay, so our next step of multiplying, 12 times 2, we get 24. And now we do a subtraction. So we're going to subtract that. 31 minus 24. We do that. We get... Uh, 7, and we're left with just 7. Okay, so then our next step, bring down. So we're going to bring down that 2, and we get 72. So we would go all the way back to the beginning to the dividing step. 72 divided by 12. 72 divided by 12. Okay, let's write out some more of our 12 times tables. 12 times tables are a little bit hard, but that's fine. 12 times 4, 48, okay. 12 times 5, 60. 12 times 6, 72. Oh, perfect. That goes evenly, okay. 72 divided by 12 is 6. All right, if we did the multiplication, 6 times 12, we get 72. Subtract, we are left with 0. Okay, so we know we're done then. Okay, so even though it's a two-digit divisor, we follow the same steps, right? But maybe your division is going to be harder because instead of dividing by a one-digit, you're now dividing by a two-digit. Okay, but you're still asking yourself, how many times does our divisor fit into whatever we're looking for? So the first step, of course, how many 12s fit into 31? We figured out that two 12s are going to fit into 31. All right, so try out some more divisions with two-digit divisors if this is hard for you. Or check out the videos that I'm going to do on a few more of these examples.